Ashley, um, with all of the critical projects that you're working on in Asheville, um, how has engagement influenced your opportunity to be successful with maintaining your sense of community? I think, like both of you have said, engagement is critical to the success of our projects. And I think not engaging can derail a project quickly. Um, one of the examples I was thinking about as we were talking is we had a big urban centers um, urban centers project that our planning department was doing. And we went out to communities and then um, along in the process, we talked to our Hispanic community and red flags just went off everywhere. And they were the first thing they heard was gentrification. And so if we're not engaging those communities and we're not talking to people, it really, it, it would definitely impact our success. And so that's always our first step, try to engage community. It doesn't have to be something major, like an urban center. It can be literally like, I got an email this morning from a guy who was like, hey, when are we getting our sidewalk? I saw that it passed through, the contract passed through, um, passed through on our last, our last council meeting. It's just letting that neighborhood know that, hey, um, this contract went through, you'll be seeing contractors in your neighborhood in the next couple of months. So it doesn't, it's it's from the little things, just talking to the neighborhood associations to these bigger engagements that um, we really have to talk to people for our projects to be successful and for people to feel like, okay, they're actually listening to, listening to us. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have a huge staff where we can follow up on every call and tweet, but we try to do our best to make sure that when people talk to us, if it's on next door, if it's on Twitter, that we continue that conversation. But having that engagement on the front end is really important so that we're not then making policies that are gonna disenfranchise people, but also, um, and not disenfranchise people and really have the impact that we intended to and it doesn't become an afterthought of we did this and then oh by the way this happened so engagement is definitely one of the things that we really try try to strive for for every project yeah that's that's a really important thing um, um one thing i heard from all of you is uh just kind of the recognition that working in local government you're connected with people at the closest level uh both city and county and it's that kind of follow through and that connectedness, that face-to-face -face connection, whether it's virtual or in person, but uh, local government just seems to have that unique ability to be able to help people feel more comfortable with the things that are going on around them. And, um, you know, I always used to tell my staff, we have the ability to impact whether a person is gonna have a good day or a bad day. And uh, it's that all, it's just the way that you treat your constituents and your residents and, uh, uh, so thanks for, for those perspectives.